Yeah, I, I joined the band, uh, Earl Hines' band, at the Apollo Theater. And then the band did a one or two one-nighters in Baltimore. And it was during the war, 45, 46. And the transportation was not that easy. So when we left Baltimore, we had to take a, a, a practically a freight train about one or two in the morning. That's when Dizzy would take out his horn with a cup you and play what we waited for the train to arrive. That's where Dizzy was. He, 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 the horn. Dizzy always said, Paul, your trump is in the, in the case. It's waiting for you. She's waiting for you. That's how Dizzy felt about the horn. I never forgot that expression. Every time I feel lazy, I start thinking of Dizzy and saying, Paul, the horn's waiting for you. Like, get your ass up there and play. Because that's what he did. We just finished the show with Earl Hines in Baltimore on a train station. He pushed a cup and then all of us are hanging around him while he's playing ad lib something. It stuck to him, his mind was working to play something that he wanted. That's marvelous devotion to yourself as well as your music. You know, I had a great deal of respect for this, more than any other jazz trumpet I ever played with.